going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a hot Nez. Hot Nez fab. Uh, we're back up here at Bandemir. We're doing our first no prep race. So as you guys saw in the last video, PSCA is done. But uh, the car's not done. We're not done with the car for the year. So MPK Street LLs came through and luckily all wheel drive cars can run in the small tire class. So we got the new clutch discs in, race discs. Hopefully they'll hold the power, hopefully it launches better. Uh, but yeah, we're getting ready to go up to do the first round. Fortunately, with the way they're running the schedule, there's no test passes, there's no qualifying, there's no grudge runs. It's right in to eliminations. So, uh, first time doing the trip draw for me, I chose, or I picked number six, which is, I guess, kind of cool. I'd almost rather kind of go first just because we're all wheel drive and we have the advantage against most of these rear wheel drive vehicles. I'm hoping a lot of people are thinking, since we're going into round one eliminations, that they don't want to underpower the car and hopefully they overpower it and they break loose. I mean, we never really had too many issues launching the car, even on test and tunes with the car breaking loose and stuff. So hopefully the car just launches. We've got a little power in it in second and third. We're just running eighth mile. So hopefully hopefully we can go a couple rounds. If not, whatever, we're just out here having a good time. So getting suited up, getting ready to pull up into lanes for hit one, so stay tuned. Go, babe. Mm. Good. Yes. That was good. Very good. Yes. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. What's up, man? Yeah. A little, a little bumpy. I think it's fun a lot of a little bit. But it was moving. Yeah. You got to keep our force on the yeah. Right? Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. I got out, didn't I? Though. Yeah. You, you, you lost it again. I'm looking at the draggy. He left good too, though. Yeah, I know. Yeah, something happened right there. I did 330. Something happened. Yeah. So he was next to me, huh? Right there. Yeah, you see, look at that. Damn, it was bumpy as yeah, hell. Was bumpy. Yeah, it was bumpy. Just because there's probably less, I don't know. I'll have to look at the draggy and see, but maybe, maybe we might have to give two, couple of it up. Mm -hmm. They've definitely felt different than a PSCA race. <laughs> well, yeah, it's a lot the, the car. I was trying like, to line you up where the most grip was at. Like it, it felt different, but hey, we're on to the next round. Let's go. You're just rolling out in three. Hmm? How's that? <clears throat> How'd the draggy work? Well, according to the draggy, let's see here. Two, I need to turn off three, some of this stuff. It's recording too much stuff. Four. But yeah, according to the draggy. Three, we did a 13460 foot, which I mean, these are pretty dang close to the slips. But uh, that's the best 60 foot we've ever done. Uh, the eighth was a 5.5 at 129. Dude, that was an 8.5 pass. Yeah. It was moving, huh? That was an 8.5 pass. Yeah. yeah. If you're in a fight, we, we had, because we did, we did a 5, 
seven and an eight sixty. Or eight seventy. So yeah. five five. That was an eight five for sure. Well the the quarter mile showed eight ninety six with me letting out though. Yeah, yeah, that night. Well, the second one didn't go so well. Uh, well, I guess we just gotta, we'll get more experience racing in these MPK races and kind of doing like this street style race because this thing comes up on the two step fast. And I, first stage, first ball, got up on the two step, double ball, and the other guy was still spooling up, which I feel like he should have timed out. I mean, it's pretty close. But it just, and this thing just heated, and I think I was preloaded on the clutch for too long. I think we just smoked the clutch, so which sucks. It was a brand new clutch disc. That was technically the only second hit on it. So we're gonna look over the car, see if we can do anything. I highly doubt it. I mean, if the clutch discs are gone, the clutch discs are gone. So there's not much we can do. So that may be an end to us racing the no prep MPK stuff. But uh, hey, we won one round. Shouldn't be the end. I feel like, I feel wholeheartedly it should not be the it, end. It should not be the end. But you came out strong again. But yeah. Some, sometimes beep. parts failures. So is what it is. But uh, well, we'll let you guys know if we find anything. Look at those. She's open at it. His determination shines once again. repairs using a jack to drop your transmission. Everybody, welcome back to Nesfab. 
Welcome back to Bandemir. Uh, welcome back to pulling the transmission out of this car. It's probably the thing I've done the most to pull the transmission out of this car with the drag chain. But I don't know if she was showing you this pile of dust from the clutch <coughs> disc yesterday. So it's hard to see on the ground. But this yeah. is uh... There's a lot. There's a, there's a pile of it. So yeah. we're getting ready to yank the clutch off now. We still have the triple disc. So we'll throw it back in and give it a shot. I mean, that's the only chance we have. We already paid for today's event, so we have plenty of time before they start racing. But we've got the transmission out. Getting ready to zap the clutch off, see what it looks like. Get everything cleaned up. Slap the triple disc on there and we'll see if that thing can hold. I mean, we haven't had no issues ever with that thing not holding. It was just a pain in the butt to get that thing to launch. But now since we're launching with more boost, more power, hopefully the triple disc will just come out of the hole. So fingers crossed, we're up here trying everything that we can. I mean, it's Saturday, there's no one local that has another brand new clutch, another quartermaster and stuff. So just doing what we can with what we got. So uh, we get to taking this clutch off. Well, we found out where all that uh, clutch disc is supposed to be. This, like, we literally, there's no padding on this. It's They're just. Shade. Let's see. We literally, like, <laughs> took it, it all off. It should there. kind of be like this one. Yeah, yeah, this one's got material on it. You literally well, the back it side of it came Nothing. apart. That one's history. This one's gone, literally. That's why it was, like, not engaging at all, because there was so much slop in there. Yeah, it's all over there on the. So it's on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> that is crazy how it. Did that? Yeah, that is that's something else. I wonder if they can get that warranty. I wonder if that's like that's crazy. Yeah, I, I mean, especially the way that this one is, like yeah, that's like a something like a disc. That's freaking nuts. That's literally. And I would say we're interested in Tim and see if we can get those guys warranty. That's literally two passes. No, it two passes. That was a pass and a. Launch. Yeah, it's a pass and a launch. And it literally. Eight, like smooth. You were doing better on the street discs. Jeez, yeah, the street discs lasted a little bit longer. What happened? Here? Yeah. Race disc or street disc, not much different. Oh, that was when I hit it with the grinder. Oh. Like, just standing with the left and just. That's nuts. Let's see. Well, we know it's clutch. Definitely clutch. <laughs> So slap this triple disc in and we'll see if old Trusty will give her a second try. With this triple disc, we have to do that whole shin the pivot ball thing, which I got that in there. And now I just gotta adjust the slave, or sorry, the master a little bit, so it clears the gears. So it almost clears, so we just gotta adjust it just a little bit, and we should be good. We'll warm it up, do a two-step check, and then, uh, yeah, car should be good. Probably go drive it around the pits real quick just to check some gears and stuff, make sure everything else is fine, but. Should be good. Hopefully this triple disc. So we're giving it a second shot. Hopefully it holds. I mean, I know it will hold. I just, I mean, I don't know if it's gonna withstand a couple launches, which it should. I don't know. I just can't preload that long. I mean, the guy that burned us down, he came over this morning and talked and apologized, which was cool of him. That was stand up. So uh, I just, I don't know, with all these big V8 guys, man, he's got these big ass turbos and it just takes them forever to spool up, so. From now on, I'm just letting them spool up, bump in, because the car comes up so fast on the two-step, so we're not having to preload the clutch for that long and smoke it. I mean, it is what it is, so I'm getting ready to adjust the clutch, and then we'll do some more testing on the car.
Water. I'm gonna get the charger on this thing. Dang it. You should just end the video like that. <laughs>
Huh. So we got the clutch working enough to go try to make a pass. And uh, we left probably about a second after we left transfer case broke again so yeah, I don't know what we're gonna do we got to figure something out it's just I don't know the triple disc we we're just talking I know it's bugging the hell out of me we we're just talking that every time we have the triple disc in the car it breaks transfer cases rear ends tranny parts but every time we're in the twin it hasn't broken nothing. It's got some good launches and shit on it, so. I don't know. The triple disc holds. Just, yeah, I just know what we're going to do moving forward. I mean, the season's coming up to an end pretty soon. I mean, getting a transfer case is a nightmare. I still got mine over at Liberty trying to get fixed. I guess I'll call them up next week to see what the ETA is. Maybe I can buy two shafts. So, we're done racing for today, so we're going from racers to spectators. So, we're just pulling off right now, and then so we'll go enjoy the event. So, you guys see me. I tried. I gave it all. Everything that we can try to do. So, thanks for watching the video. Make sure you guys comment, like, subscribe, share it, all that stuff. Maybe leave a donation. Let me know if you want to sponsor the car. <laughs> all that type of stuff. We'll catch you guys on the next one.